Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your Dumbbell and T-Rex Full Body Strength and Cardio Workout. What you need today, dumbbells, whatever you have, grab them. For resistance reference, I will be using a pair of 20-pound dumbbells throughout the entire workout today. However, please remember, you and I are different, so you may need to go heavier than what I am using in order to feel challenged, or you may need to drop the weight selection down to something lighter in order to keep good form. Everyone is so different, so I want you to find a weight selection that feels challenging for you while maintaining really great form throughout. You will also need your suspension trainer, T-Rex strap. Go ahead, set your suspension trainer up to approximately mid length. We will be here for the entire workout. And lastly, you will need a mat, and I definitely recommend having some hydration and possibly a towel around as well. Here's today's format. We begin with a quick five minute warm up, five exercises, 60 seconds per exercise before transitioning into our workout. Our workout today, just like the previous two, we have tricets. We will perform each triset twice. The first round, we will perform our dumbbell exercise for 75 seconds. We will then have 15 seconds to transition to our suspension trainer. Our second exercise will be 60 seconds on the suspension trainer. Then no break into exercise three. We take it to a different exercise for an additional 60 seconds. Now, after that first round, we have 15 seconds to recover before repeating, but we're going to cut the time in approximately half to 45 seconds. We still get that 15 second transition time, 30, 30, 15 seconds to transition, recover before taking it to a new triset. Now this one can be quite fatiguing, so rest, pause during the set as needed. There's also some jumping in today's workout, and if you wanna make it low impact, that is definitely doable for today's workout. So whenever we're jumping, just omit the jump. You don't have to jump at all. You could replace it with a calf raise or just don't jump. And then there's one exercise where we, we will be in a plank position and you will see me jump back and in to make it low impact, step it back, step it in. This is your workout, so make it your own. I want you to get what you need out of today's workout. Enough of me talking, go ahead, grab all your stuff. We're going to begin in a kneeling position. We have kneeling rollouts to begin our warm up. So grab your stuff and let's get going. Our first exercise of the day is a kneeling rollout. And if you're not using the door attachment, if your attachment is a little higher, you may want to give yourself a little bit more length here. This is just going to reduce our lever and make it more attainable for our warm up today, right? So keep your core tight, arms stay long, take it out for three, two, one. Hold here for a one count pause. You have tension in the core and the lats. Now take it back in. Try not to hinge from the hips, so keep your core tight, hips stay level. This begins your workout in three, two, and one, let's go. Now, if this is uncomfortable on your knees, what I would suggest is double or triple rolling your mat just to provide your knees with a little bit more cushion. You can also go ahead and stand it up as well. You do not have to perform this kneeling. Next up, we have a TRX chest fly. We go in three, two, and one. So take it to a semi-neutral grip. We take it wide, long lever, let the body come with you, bring it back in. So right here, you're feeling tension in the chest and in the anterior portion of the delts and of course your core, and then bring it back in. Longer lever than a traditional chest press. Next up, we have a Copenhagen plank rotation. You'll take your right foot in the strap. We'll take our time getting there in three, two, and one. Pull one of your straps. Top leg will go in 
your T-Rex strap. Now we're gonna take it up, start here with the knee down, arm goes up, rotate down, rotate up. Now, if you want a little bit more starting out, what I want you to do is float the knee and press that foot into the T-Rex strap. What that it will do will fire up your inner thigh like none other. more reps and then we're going to switch to the other side in three two and one I'll be facing away from you left foot goes in your t-rex strap whatever side you didn't do before start with the knee down rotate and then lift and if you did it the other side try to float the bottom knee off of the ground and press your left foot the inside of the left foot into the t-rex strap you should start to feel it in your inner thigh. Maybe not right now, just give it a few more reps. Really start to shift the weight into the foot that is in your T-Rex strap. For me, that is my left. We end our warm up with a high to low body weight plank to downward dog. In three, two, and one. Release from your T Rex strap. Body weight only, high plank, wide stance, corset height. Take it down to the right forearm. Left, right hand, then left, up and back, downward dog. Back to your plank. Next time, go left, right, left, right, down dog. Try not to let those hips rotate. So we are working on anti-rotation of the hips. We're working on strengthening the core, warming up the core, and warming up your delts. Last three, two, and one. Send those hips up and back. Look up at the hands and then walk the feet forward. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, let the head hang a little bit deeper. Soft knees, bring it up, inhale. And now we begin your workout. We'll start with your dumbbells. We have a slow shoulder press into a thruster. Both will be with a neutral grip. Get into position, core stays tight. Three count eccentric on the shoulder press only. Normal tempo on the thruster. Core stays tight, here we go in three, two, and one. Press it up, slow it. Three, two, one. Lower body drives it up, down. We press it up, slow and controlled on the way down from your shoulder press. And then we take it to our thruster. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbells down. Wow. Next up, we have a chest press rollout to tricep extension. Then we'll smooth it out. So three-part movement. Get into position. 
Start with a conservative angle. Core stays tight. Chest press. Roll it out at the top of your rollout. Tricep extension. Back to center. Chest press. Roll it out. Triceps. And then do it again. Once you have it down, you can start to smooth it out. Just honor your range of motion. Next up, we'll flip it around. We have YTWs. And three, two, and one. Face the anchor point. Conservative angle to start. We have a Y. We have a T. Bend the elbows. Hold right here. And then a W. Extend. Y. T. Hold. W. Then extend. Last three, two, and one. We do it again. We cut the time. 45 seconds with the dumbbell. 15 seconds to recover. 30, 30, then it's on to something new. Here we go. Shoulder press. Slow on the eccentric shoulder press only. Last three, two, and wow, one. All right, chest press, roll out, tricep. Slow it down if needed, or you can start with that smoothed out version. Here we go. Let's do it, 30 seconds. Last three, two, flip it, YTWs. Last three, two, and wow, one. Next up, we have a dumbbell RDL to a semi-pronated row. Core stays tight. Keep your lumbar spine as still as possible. Here we go, hinge it back for three, two, one. We row, we extend, use the glutes and hamstrings to drive it up. Three, two, one. One core stays tight, back, glutes and hamstrings. Lengthening the glutes and hamstrings, mid to upper back, 
glutes and hams. Core stays tight throughout. Last three, two, and dumbbells down. Next up, left side only. So grab one handle with the left hand. It's a squat, reach to rotate. Start with the arm extended, squat it down, pull yourself up. We're here, we twist, pull yourself up. Use the lower body as much as you need to. Walk it farther away if it becomes too much and you start to lose your form. Switch sides in three, two, and one, other side. Last three, two, and one. We do it again, but we cut the time to approximately half. RDL, to a row. Core stays tight. We go in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Squat, reach to rotate. Grab the handle with the left hand. The closer you walk it in towards the anchor point, the more challenging it will be, and then vice versa. Only 30 seconds, let's do it. Last three, two, other side.
Last three, two, and one. Next up, we have a dumbbell. We're gonna get a row to a squat. So go ahead, start in a plank position with your dumbbells. Wider stance. We row right, we row left, we jump it in, one squat, control it down, and then do it again. Jump back, row, row, jump in, use the lower body to lift up. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, next up, we have a T-Rex power pull-up. Start with the handles in the pockets, and then we'll go from there. Handles in the pockets, now we extend. Squat, pull, extend. Squat, pull, extend. Once you have it, Smooth it out to add the power, add the jump at the top. Next up, we have a face pull to a neutral grip row. In three, two, and one. Extend the arms, plank position with the body, elbows wide, handles by the ears, and then it's in, elbows in. Wide. Last three, two, and one. We do it again. This time, shorter amount of time. Start in your plank position. We'll start with our row in three, two, and one. Row right, row left, jumper step in. Lower body picks up those dumbbells, control it down. Last three, two, and one. Gotta row the other side. All right, power pull up. I'm getting right into it. I'm gonna start to add the jump right away. If needed, break it up. 
squat, pull, extend. Let's go. Last three, two, face pull, neutral grip row. Last three, two, and one, recover. Next up, we have a dumbbell reverse lunge. We alternate sides, we add a quarter rep at the bottom. Core stays tight to help stabilize the hips. We go in three, two, and one, quarter rep. Front leg drives you up. Other side, quarter rep, front leg drives you up. Every rep, Try to really isolate the front glute, front quad, front hamstring. Try to use the back leg as little as possible to assist up. Last three, two, and one. Set those dumbbells down. Next up, we stabilize with your left foot. And then the second exercise will be on the right. So do your pistol squat first, and then we'll take it to our skater lunge. Okay, here we go. Right leg extends. Take it down to your squat. Wow. Then we lunge it back. Float. We squat. We lunge. Now, if this is too much, what I want you to do, kickstand. Reverse lunge. Switch sides in three, two, wow, and one. Other side. Remember to modify, just take it to a kickstand. It's set a single leg. Last three, two, and one. Recover. We do it again. We cut the time in half. Dumbbell reverse lunge, quarter rep at the bottom. 
Here we go in three, two, and one. Last three, two, and one. Dumbbells down. Wow. Pistol squat to skater lunge. Left side first, y'all. Only 30 seconds. Catch your breath, or at least I need to catch my breath. Here we go in three, two, and one. Last three, two, switch sides. Keep your knee stacked over your ankle. Really control it. Quality over quantity. Last three, two, and wow, one. Out of breath. Okay. We have, oh my goodness, a dumbbell clean to press. We alternate sides. Start with whatever side you want. Here we go. Core stays tight. Lower body helps drive the dumbbell up. Lower body drives the dumbbell up. Switch at the bottom. Upright row with lower body, shoulder press with lower body. Last three, two, and one. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we have a lateral lunge to a reverse lunge. Right leg's gonna move, left leg stabilizes. We add the power after the first rep, all right? So here we go. Lateral lunge, bring it in. Reverse lunge, bring it in. You can stay right there to get the heart rate up, elevated a little bit more. Start to add the power or the jump, the little hop, but land soft. Last three, two, and other side.
last three, two, and one. Wow, that was a wow combined with the word one. We repeat. Oh my goodness, here we go. One dumbbell. Clean to press, alternate sides. Let's go. Last three, two, and one. Lateral lunge with power, reverse lunge with power. If needed, just don't jump. Right leg moves, left leg is grounded. 30 and 30. We got this, let's go. Switch sides in three, two, and one. Other side. Three, two, and one. Recover. Last tricep of the day. Dumbbell snatches. We alternate at the bottom. So we start at the bottom. Dumbbell stays tight to the body. We go in three, two, and one. Keep the dumbbell tight to the body. Think of it as an upright row. At the last minute, we flip the grip. I'll give you a different view. Last three, two, and one. Next up, we have a reverse fly to a narrow squat. Have your stance right around shoulder width, maybe a little bit more narrow. Start with the reverse fly. Conservative angle. All right, we take it out to the side. Rear delts are working here. Control it, squat it, back to center. Rear delts. Hold, squat, get those glutes driving you up. Elbows are soft, but try not to bend anymore. So keeping that lever a little bit longer is a little bit more challenging. So if needed, walk it farther away from the anchor point.
squat to squat jump in three, two, one. A little wider stance, a little wider than shoulder width. We have one squat and then one jump squat. To eliminate the jump, instead of the jump, perform a calf raise. One squat, one jump squat. I know it's burning. Come on, almost there. Last three, two, and wow, whoa. Legs are, are feeling fatigued. This is it, y'all. We cut, we cut the time in half, then we're done. I'm out of breath. Let's keep going. Dumbbell snatches, alternate sides. Let's do it. Last rep, three, two, and one. All right, reverse fly to air squat. I'm out of breath. Here we go, y'all. Let's do it. Rear delts, glutes, quads, hamstrings. One squat, one jump squat in three, two, and one. Squat it. Squat jump, add that power, land soft. We end with 15 seconds of jump squats. And three, two, one, jump squats. Last three, two, one more rep, and one. Wow, shake it out. High five. <laughs> okay, let's stretch. Let's uh let's use this. This bad boy. Grab your handles. We'll start with the figure four stretch. <laughs> Opening up those glutes. Stretching is going to be kind of quick today. If you want more, I will link additional stretching videos below. Extend foot, hamstring. Bring it back in. Balance. Go for the quad and the hip flexor. Take it to the other side. Figure four. Bring it back up. Hamstring stretch. If your body is like, I want to hang in this stretch longer, feel free to hang out longer. Again, I could I could make a whole another stretching video that lasts as long as this. But we got things to do. However, I do recommend adding mobility work into your weekly regimen. Whether it be static stretches, dynamic stretches, both preferably, that'd be great. All right, 
Let's grab the handles and extend, stretching out the lats. And then take it left. So you're biasing the left lat a little bit more. And take it right. Bias the right lat a little bit more. Take it center. And I feel so good. Big deep inhale. On the exhale, whoo, come out of it. All right, let's do a little side body stretch. Grab your handles, oops, wrong way. Cross at the feet if you want, and just kind of hang. Sometimes I just like to use one hand, and that feels pretty good. Take it to the other side. And bring it in one more time. Inhale and then exhale. I've got a towel off. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting to sweat this much. <laughs> but it happens. As long as you tried your best. Well, oh, sorry. As long as you tried your best, that is what matters most. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Your love and support is greatly appreciated. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend if you wouldn't mind. That would that would be awesome of you. That would be awesome of you. But most importantly, if you don't do anything after this workout, remember this. You rock. Have an amazing rest of the day, my friends.